Hey everybody, I'm Leanne and I'm a book artist from the Pacific Northwest. I love sharing book projects, things that I do and things that you can do as well. So today what I can be doing is continuing on a book that I started just this last week. It's a dollar store series where I take items from the dollar store, things that are inexpensive, and I show you how you can make beautiful books out of them. Last week I worked on the cover. That's what you're seeing here. Today what I'm going to be working on is the spine. The first thing you want to get to do is grab some product to make your spine out of. Um, and here what I did, I just took some of the packaging. I'm cutting it one and a quarter by six inches, which is the size of my cover. So this is what I'm going to be actually sewing the signatures into. So I want it to be thicker, and so I'm putting two pieces together. Now, if you have cardstock, I would use cardstock, file photo. You can use something like that. To be honest, this um, packaging material isn't the best, but I wanted to really fully use it. So you're going to make two lines in your score on your on your piece. You can't really see it in this picture, but you can see where I'm folding. It's one and a quarter inches, just the same distance as. The piece that I just cut out and that is actually going to be what we're going to be gluing our sewn signature into that little spine piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use lace on it as the edge and so I'm marking just a little spot right there and trimming it off so that that won't be seen when I actually put it on my cover. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So go ahead and fold those up and like I say I would really actually recommend using like cardstock instead of this but if you like me why don't you just try making it out of just completely dollar store stuff go ahead and do this my one little um, caveat is that this material won't hold up as well as something like a nice piece of cardstock so just keep that in mind now if you were to um, put material on this that would hold up better like right here i'm using tissue paper material would hold that spine together better so when it's opened and closed often you're not going to risk it ripping apart so with all of those little details this tissue paper works out nicely it adds that color it it goes with the cover part nicely and i'm just trimming off the edges if you trim off the edges you'll get a little bit better fold now if you do use material like i just talked about I would just go ahead cut along the edges and not turn it in like this. By turning it in, depending on what your material is, you might actually get just a little bit too much bulk. That's my concern there. So go ahead and turn that in and what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to dry it. You can let it dry naturally, but I just take my little drying machine and dry it on up. So I'm folding those edges gingerly. Now if you use tissue paper on something like this, you're going to want to make sure it's dry enough, otherwise you will risk it ripping. So what comes next is we're going to put some adhesive on there to hold that to the cover. So what I'm going to use here is the Beacon 3-in-1. Um, it's called also, what's it called, Fabri-Tac. Something like that gets, gives it a nice good hold. Putting that right along that bended portion. And that bended portion, I'm guessing is like about a half an inch to give you an idea. You want it big enough to go over the edge and have enough to hold on to it. But when I put my lace over it, you won't see it. To make sure it holds nicely, putting clips on it is a really good idea. And you're going to want to keep on touching it and play, playing with it to make sure it really does secure. And you'll see me doing that. So I'm gluing up the other edge, grabbing my piece, and placing that right along the fold as well. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I like these colors. It's just such a cheerful thing. And especially just coming from the dollar store, it's just nice because you're not breaking the bake and you're making an awesome book. So go ahead and work your cover like this. Just make sure that those pieces actually do hold down. Next, what I'm doing, I want to just add a little bit more um, security, a little more power, a little more strength to my spine. So what I'm doing, I'm layering up some other pieces. You can see it right there. And just placing it right in the middle. It's the exact same size as the one that I've cut. You can see it on the left right there, that, that six inch by one and a fourth inch. So by laying it in there, I've strengthened it 
And now if you were going to sew your signature straight into your book, what I'm doing right here, I'm just laying down some of the tissue paper so that if you if you if your signatures were sewn straight into the book you'd see this this tissue paper now if you are going to use the method i'm going to use actually by sewing my signatures into the piece that you see the long piece there on the left you can skip this portion i don't know what i was thinking i guess i was thinking i was sewing it straight in i'm not it doesn't matter though it's a nice little pretty touch so so i'm gonna do a little uh auditioning here it's always fun kind of seeing what your cover is going to look like i was kind of playing around trying to decide where i want to put my tie closure normally you would put them in the middle of the book but i've decided i'm going to put mine at the bottom and then have just the star of it that that little flower piece at the top and i didn't want it to go over it what I also wanted to do is add tassels on the side. And so now since I've reinforced it, that's good. I should probably do a little bit more reinforcing. Like I might put something at the top right there just to make sure dangles don't pull through and rip my spine at all. But all I'm doing is tying a piece of Baker's twine in there so that I have something that I can tie my outside tassels onto. A little bit more auditioning here, trying out a different color ribbon, just kind of playing around and seeing what I might want to do, how I might want to do it. It's part of the fun, isn't it? Just kind of checking it out. Dreaming, dreaming. So looking at that, but knowing I got to kind of like get back to work. There's uh, things that still have to be done. But what I'm thinking here is that I want to check out what it would look like with my paper in the inside. So, you know, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? So I'm trying to decide. I was actually playing around with the idea of, of cutting my paper to the size that I wanted and then dyeing it. In this case, I'm going to be dyeing it with, um, with food coloring. So you're going to see me cutting up the pages and just putting it in there. In the end, I decided, well, that was silly. I need to do the whole piece because then I'm going to have all these wonderful scraps that I'll have all dyed and ready to go as well. It was just a thought, but it was fun actually just seeing a piece of paper in there, looking and seeing. Now the next thing I gotta do is dye it, dye my paper. So that's what we're going to be doing next. And so stay tuned for the next session. Look forward to seeing you guys then. Talk to you then. Bye.